of this Norman collecting already. How is that possible? Everyone knows you love them. You've even got one on your umbrella. Rose, better not to mention the mascot. It gets long. I love long stories. Go ahead, lay it on us. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. This little guy here? You can pull out his head to stretch out his neck. Like a giraffe. That's what you meant by it gets long? Same goes for the nose, too. Max length, 1.5 times its height. Ew, that's not even a Norman anymore. That's right. This thing's like a talisman, an amulet, a rabbit's foot, a periapt, that sort of thing. I don't quite get it, but sure. A charm you carry because it's special to you, right? Not really. It was given to me, so I put it on. The bridge looks better than ever, but that just means... Alicia! Saray, what are you doing here? And the others? Of course. Shame you can't see us, though. Isn't that natural? Hey! Rose, wasn't it? You were with the Sparrow Feathers who came to the palace. Nice to finally meet you in person, Princess Alicia. Just Alicia will do. Rose is helping me out big time. As Squire? Don't worry, she's doing a great job. I see. I'm sure it helps that you've grown into your power. But still, Rose must be incredibly special. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> well, you and Saray are so alike. That's not the nicest thing I've ever heard. Very true. My apologies. Hey! What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Saray, I'm glad you three are getting along, but we came here on a mission. Oh, right. There's something I want to ask you, Alicia. Hmm? Shrines of Trials. Ring a bell? I'm not sure if it's what you're looking for, but just the other day we received word of a ruin discovered at Lake Haven Heights. It's a military secret, so I don't know the exact location, but the entrance is supposedly extremely well hidden. Lady Maltran has just gone off to investigate. Maltran? The discovery came about while apprehending a group of thieves. They turned out to have several famous swords in their possession. The military decided that further investigation might turn up something useful to them. Something useful for the war? Yes. Lady Alicia! The captain is awaiting your report! Apologies, I'll be right there. Sorry, but I've got a job to do. Please come back to Lady Lake again sometime. I shall pray that you overcome your trials safely. Thanks. See you again. Understood. I shall report as such to my superiors. It's just as you can see. They sent me out to inspect the bridge. Jerks. Hey. It's okay. 
Lady Maltran is helping me out a great deal, and I can still keep going. You sure about- Rose? I'm sorry. That. No, no. You're probably right. No matter how I protest, I don't think the war can be stopped. I want to just drop everything and run, all the time. <sighs> but whenever my thoughts drift in that direction, I stop. The strength of a nests to protect, and their kindness serves the people. Those are the words I learned from my teacher. Guess you have your honor too, Alicia. Oh, not really. I'm just obstinate. So, you're just like Miklio then? Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> sure, laugh at my expense. Alright. And with that, I must be off. Be well, everyone. You too! Later! Something tells me Alicia actually wishes she could go with us, deep down. Huh? Just a vibe I got. Hey, Alicia used to be your squire, right? Why did she leave? Well, I wouldn't say she left. She just had her own goals and... I think she did want to go with us. But her resonance just wasn't quite up to snuff. The backlash was damaging Saray. He was losing his sight. Oh dear. So that's why... Wait a minute, what about now? You're not hiding anything from me, are you? Not at all! I swear! Your resonance is powerful enough to enact armatization. It's right on par with the Shepherds. Is it really? I guess I'd better be grateful for my resonance. Grateful, huh? What was it like back when everyone was trying to... We had to put up with a lot less nonsense talk, for one thing. Huh? I don't get it! Why were you king? Could someone hand Rose a... Never thought I'd see so many Hellions. Kinda makes me feel guilty for not being able to see them before. You should. Ignorance is a crime, you know. So, don't you think the quality of equipment is crucial in surviving tough battles? They also say that true masters don't choose their weapons. But since we're no masters, I thought it might be better if we build relationships with the shop owners and order from them. Yeah, well, they say the relationship only lasts as long as the money does. Yeah, I agree. So what I'm saying is, it's important to build the relationship with the shopkeeper rather than just haggling to get the price down. I can't even tell if you guys are arguing or not.
something up? There should be a vista point nearby.
you! Give up! We caught you red-handed! Darn! That voice! It's a Hellion! Purify him! Yeah! You need something, oh great shepherd? Is it alright if I deal with this boy? I'm afraid not. The only way to apprehend pickpockets is to catch them in the act. But... but he's... If you do the crime, you do the time. No matter how old you are. This kid just wasn't ready for real-world consequences. <clears throat> hey, mister! Why don't you let Saray have a talk with him before you take him away? Just a word from the shepherd might steer the kid toward the right path in life, better than any time in detention. That would be pointless. Come on, it won't do any harm. What, you got some problem with Saray talking to this boy? I never said that. It would simply be a waste of time. You said this kid wasn't prepared to deal with the real-world consequences of his crimes. Are you prepared, mister? What? I'm part of a merchant crew that travels all over the world. You think I don't know why the pickpocketing problem is so bad? <laughs> I see. How much do you want? Don't put me on your level. We Sparrow Feathers value our customers' trust. Saray, we're taking this guy to jail, too. L like hell you are, you lying brat! You will not lay a finger on her. Shepard! Oh, hey! Stop! Wait! Him. Okay! If it ain't one thing. Saray, I'll go after them as well. Please purify that boy. Shepard, I'm let you obstruct my duties! <sighs> Guard, leave him alone! Even we can tell something about you stinks! Yeah, what kind of guard are you? You think we don't know what you're up to when our backs are tr- You dirty crook! I think we're good here. Let's go after Rose. Yeah, you're right. We're heading after Rose, right? Is it over? Maybe. If it really bugs you that much, why don't you check up on him? Well, how would we do that? Let him lead us home. Oh, so he wanders and we tail him. That could work. All right then. Saray, Rose, you guys hide. I'll go wake him up. Looks like they've made their decision. Are you okay with this, Lila? Well, as long as we only follow him. Think he'll stop pickpocketing now? Hit him after all. Mm, about that. I've heard word of pickpocket gangs. Oh, really? We need to find out whether he was doing it on his own or with a group. by you knew why the pickpocketing problem is so bad. Forcers let him off a lot of the time in exchange for part of the takings. Then, when the guard 
kids need to hit their quotas anyway. That's probably what that was about. No way! Look, he's going in! A noble's manor? It's clearly not his house. I'm guessing a pickpocket gang, then. And so this must be their base. Something tells me he's not gonna quit stealing. Well, crap. Come on, we're not done yet. Rose, it's unfortunate, but I'm not sure we should... Lila means that this is just a problem of human society. Right. It might not be something a shepherd should get involved in. Huh. Sorry. If he's doing it by himself, I'd be okay letting him deal with the consequences. But if there's a gang forcing him to steal, it's a completely different story. I gotta check to make sure. Yeah, I thought so. I understand. About just in case. You sure? But no more than that. Understood? Saray, Rose, even if you don't intend them to, the powers of the Shepherd and the Squire can greatly influence human society and the spirits of men. Please don't forget that. All right. We'll just watch and see who goes in and out. Bored. Who knew that we wouldn't see anything for days on end? You all can go back to the inn. I'm staying here. It's okay. Shh, someone's coming out. It's a bunch of little kids. Those kids? You think maybe they're not being forced to pickpocket? <sighs> We've come this far. Let's see this thing through. Dezel? You go follow those brats. I'll go check out the building. Thanks. Oh boy. Think big, got it? Only money and jewelry and stuff. Are they gonna have anything like that? That shepherd guy did something, and now there's lots more people donating stuff to this. Oh cool, that sounds fun. Priests won't be mean to kids, and if there's any real problems, we can always start crying. <laughs> Good at that. Hey, is this really okay? It's okay if you're us and not them. Is this what kids are like these days? Dangerous times. <sighs> Those kids barely have any mal- Children and their brutal honesty can be even crueler than corrupted adults. As you've seen. Oh, Dezel, how was it? The building was completely empty. Those scamps are probably just camping out there. So then, those kids are acting on their own. time <sighs> now that we know the score do we want to report them to the guards and end this whole thing after all they're not hellions <sighs> let's tell the guards about it and then put it all behind us okay I can't do that hey Rose darn it what do you want look I never did nothing we know all about what you're up to. Fooling the priests into thinking you're helpless orphans and then robbing them blind. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh yeah? You got any proof? 
This here is the shepherd. His word is good enough. Th that's perjury! False witness! Princess Alicia and the people of Lady Lake all trust Saray. Because he's been living an honest life. How about you? Will anyone trust your word? Oh. <sighs> Give it up, kid. What else can we do? The adults all abandoned us. If we want to survive, stealing's our only choice. Rose, maybe we ought to... Come on, Saray. Let's bring them to the guards. But to think children their age could conceive of such wretched duplicity. And the other children? They were all caught by the guards and hauled away. I see. Those who commit crimes must be punished, even if they are children. It's the way the world works who pains the heart. Yeah. Hm. Thanks, everyone. I needed that. How it worked out? It's better than ignoring the rest of your life wondering. Yeah. Is Alicia here? Shouldn't you announce yourself? Or don't you have any respect for this family? I'm sorry. My name is Saray. Saray? Pardon my rudeness. The princess has spoken highly of... She's out right now. We're not sure when she'll be back. Work-related? Yes. She's going after a suspect who has leaked information to the Roland's Empire. There definitely must be a spy going around, given the timing of their advancements. Yes, even Alicia was under suspicion for it before. Wow, the Princess of Highland would go so far as to do that herself? No, it's the military's job, but she's acting by herself. Saying that she had to stop a clash between the two countries. But isn't she taking it a bit too seriously? Ever since the Battle of Glaven, she's been pushing herself so hard. That's very like her. I'm worried. She behaves so recklessly when she's alone. She just headed out to a round-eyed forest to gather info about the origin village, Camlon. Huh. Camlon, you say? It's the village where the Age of Chaos started, I think. But it's just some legend. Yes, she heard a rumor there were some clues in the depths of a round-eyed forest and headed out there. So that's how she came to Alicia. But her hunch was wrong. I've never heard of this origin village from Gramps, nor the other villagers. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. I'll take my leave. Please tell Alicia that I'll come visit again. She's pushing herself as a princess. Always been like that. That's exactly why I'm worried.
found it. Totally found it. Make it quick! Crimson Egg! Hang on, everyone! Return to the It's over! So yeah. That's the end of that!
Ghost. Could it be a seraph? You wonder. Perhaps the one who witnessed it had high resonance. Hey, isn't this an Earthen Historia? Oh, that... That was a donation from someone in the city. It looks rather rare and precious, so we've been unsure whether we should sell it. Nice! Good call, Mr. Priestman! Huh? Oh, uh, thank you. Father Brunor, we're actually collecting these. You think we could ha We'd pay for it, of course! No, 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 please, that's not necessary. If it's something the Shepherd needs on his quest, by all means, please take it. I'm sure the donor would be overjoyed to know that their gift had been some help to the Shepherd. Thank you, Father Brunor. He beat the dragon in one hit! And a fully materialized one at that. What tremendous power! <sighs> you saw that mass of malevolence at his back. The Hellion possessing him is far beyond anything we've ever fought. Yeah. I'll definitely need to get stronger. <laughs> That's your reaction? I don't know whether to be worried or relieved.
Iris gems really are beautiful. Too beautiful, more like it. That's why most people think they're just glass, or some other kind of decoration. I see. What are they actually made of? It's not a natural mineral. They were most likely crafted through the use of multiple seraphic arts. Even so, it's practically unbelievable that there's something inside that lets you see the past. I wish you could watch anything from the past that you wanted. I'd watch a thousand years of history. Better hope you'd live a thousand years then, because that's how long it'd take. Oh, right. <laughs> that would be hard even for a seraph. Both iris gems and ruins are just fragments of the past. What's important is what you get out of them. Because history is the architect of our hearts. Whoa, Miklio! That was a sweet quote. You think so? I'm planning to put it in the book I write one day. Well, aren't you full of surprises? I mean, don't you think it'd be a waste not to pass on our tale to future generations? I would love to read your book, Miklio. I'll give you a copy. Signed, even. Darn. I gotta come up with my own quote and signature.